Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This day, we are going to try eating these delicacies. So which delicacy are we going to eat first? Mm. Of all the delicacies I have here, uh, the sweetest for me is this bukaya. Yes, let's try to read. Ingredients, we have young coconut, brown sugar, and uh, sesame seeds. Excited to eat this bukayo. Okay. Mm, get my scissors. Here's the scissors. Let's try to open. Okay, here is the bukayo. Oh, so sweet, I know. But I remember when I was a child, this was also one of my favorite delicacies. Mm -hmm. Same taste. Same taste, but still sweet. Mm -hmm. The last time I ate Bukayo was when I was in high school. Mmm. I like it. I like it. its sweetness. Thank you so much. Bukayo. Toots. Mmm. I love it. One more. What do you think is the next delicacy? Mm. The second sweet test delicacy here for me is this banana chips. The ingredients, of course, we have banana and, of course, the sugar here. And by the way, it's from Hoylins from Ningla Nilia Cebu. Okay, so the first the little seaweed I have just eaten is the bukayo. It's for me 100% delicious. Now let's have the banana chips. Look at this. Banana chips. It's 60 grams. Yes. Mm. bigger and there is also small pieces and smaller piece now let's try to taste if this banana chips are delicious mmm mm. scrunchy and um, the sugar is not that sweet because other banana chips are so sweet with full of sugar put in the mm, chips. Well, it was good. I love it. It's not so sweet. Mm, my tongue likes the taste.
and I like it too. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm. I like it. Mm. Mm. There are sesame seeds. Look. Also, 100% delicious. Same as the bukayo. Mm, I love this too. Next, let's try eating this ampao. Mm, so, tea. Please prepare. You really have to bite and feel the crunchiness of this. Um, wow. Let's open. Again, it's from Bulinawan, Karkar, City, Cebu. The sisters. Yes. Um, most of these delicacies are the favorite delicacies also of my sister and brother. My sister and brother are from, are working outside the Philippines. And they are requested, of course, number one is the Ampao. My brother also likes uh the what's that mm, i forget the name piaya yes he likes piaya also and my sister likes ampal and also um what's that mm, we also have from um, uh, shamrak yes and that is my brother also likes uh, the product from Sh uh, Shamrak and that is Utap. But I was not able to buy Utap. Actually, there are so many delicacies here in the Philippines and also in Cebu. Yes, you can just choose any of those, especially if uh, you want your, for example, loved ones who are working abroad, uh, you will be. Uh, sending those delicacies to them and for sure they will love it, the delicacies yes the price won't matter what matters would be the taste um, the your thought that counts because you remember uh, giving them something you know, for them to remember the different delicacies when they were once in your place yes so let's now continue eating the next delicacy and that's the empire okay so let's open empire is of course made of puffed rice yes look at this when i went to the grocery store there are also ampaos they are packed half of this but i chose this one because it's bigger now let's try to eat Delicious this ampao is. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. Mmm. I was really like choosing these delicacies, which are also my favorite delicacies. When you go to grocery, to the grocery, mm, you will find it difficult to choose which of the delicacies are you going to buy. But these are a few of the delicacies I love. Delicacies I love. Mm, I'm gonna choose other delicacies because, you know, the budget. Yeah, I only have enough budget for this little bit. Mm. Mm. I love it. Mm. Thank you, Car Car, for this delicious unbound. For me, it is still 100%. Delicious. Next in line is what three more? Let's try eating this. Another crunchy delicacy. Delicacy. And this is made by Lella. Delicacies. It's Salvaro. Yes. <coughs> okay. Ingredients are flour, oil, vanilla, sugar, and the yeast. Okay. The last time I ate this was when I was um, in college. Yes, I bought a container or a box of this Salvaro. And it was so delicious. It tastes salmaro. Now let's try to eat and taste if this salmaro still tastes the same or the usual taste of the salmaro I ate before. Now, let's start. Mmm. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. There are white particles. I think it's the powder. I don't know what powder. But when you eat this in mm -hmm. white particles will be left on your lips. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I love it. Nice snacks for 2020. Another. Still 100 present. Delicious. So we have two more delicacies not eaten yet. This is the peanut bar and the tamarind. So let's open this peanut bar. Look how it's packed. Very nice. So when you open the package, you will still have the peanut bars packed individually. So it's still safe. Yes, you may not eat all of this. You may eat one at a time because it's individually packed okay let's eat oh it's in what shape rectangular shape Very taste. oh um, i've tasted this um, a month ago yes this peanut bar because usually i have eaten only the um, Peanut, yes, 
whether it's um, in white, it's a salty one with the cover, yes, it's coated or not coated, yes, so I'm gonna try it. let's try now eating this peanut bar, one, two, three, coated with a sweetness. Mm. I've tasted milk. Maybe there is condensed milk here. I tasted also I feel also the taste of of course the peanut. Mm. I remember the peanut packed with a lumpia wrapper. Toron. Yes, that's the taste. Mm. Love the peanut. It's um sweetness is not that um too sweet. Yes, sweet is sweet, but it's not too sweet. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. It's my second time eating this peanut bar. I love the peanut bar. Mm. I have no regrets choosing this delicacies. And now, the last delicacy is. The, oh, it's not the bukayo, but it's the tamarind. I remember this tamarind. Yes, it was six years ago. Yes, um, I was fond of cooking at home. Yes, and uh, one of the uh, foods I cooked. Yes, it's the delicacy which is the tamarind. Mm. It's easy to cook the tamarind. Mm. The taste is somewhat different from my tamarind. Yes. It's too sweet. Yes, too much sugar was good in this tamarind. Mm. Mm. There is the seed. Mm. So it tastes so good. For me it's um ninety five percent delicious. Yes, maybe because many times before I had prepared tamarind. Yes, and I was not putting too much sugar in my tamarind. Yes, I still um, checked it before that the tamarind should be emphasized that there is really the tamarind, not that that there, there will be too much sugar and then uh, you cannot taste anymore the tamarind a little only that you can uh, yes the taste would be emphasized I love tamarind I remember packing a tamarind like this yes for me last uh, that was six years ago I think uh, this packing yes the tamarind cost um, one peso, and for now, because in this package of the tamarind, there are yes ten, I know twelve pieces, twelve pieces for ten pesos. So this is still one peso. 
Yes. From the 12 pieces, yes, you will have two passes. You will get two passes. Mm. I'll taste another one. I just wanted to know really what makes this tamarind different, different from how I prepared my tamarind before. Let's have another try. It's really very sweet. Too much sugar is really um, mixed in this tamarind. When I bought the tamarind when I was in college, I usually asked for um, salt. Yes, because you know the taste of tamarind is really like sour yes and you need to have on your palm or in another plastic yes a small amount of salt and then you open the tamarind and you let the, tamar the salt stick to the tamarind and then you eat or if not you are going to open the whole tamarind and a sprinkle amount of salt and then it's the time that you have you have to buy it mm, one at a time that's how I ate before the tamarind but for this there is no need for you to add salt because it's sweet yes mm. I also love the taste, but the only difference is the taste is really a little different from how I prepared the tamarind before. So the taste was um, not that sour. Here's the same. So, of all the delicacies I have on the table, my favorite is, all of these, of course, are my favorite delicacies, but the topmost favorite is mine is the bukayo. And you know what's the second top delicious delicacy of mine? Yes, it's the, what do you think? is the ampao and the third favorite delicacies yes all of this again are my favorite delicacies the third for me which is also delicious is the banana chips how about, how about you what's your Top delicious delicacies. Just comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, share this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>